Hey everyone, it's our favorite day of the week. It is Tuesday and that means it's time to go Blu-ray hunting. I took last week off, but I am back. I couldn't leave you hanging two weeks in a row. So I'm really not interested in anything as far as new releases for this week. There's really not that much. I'm hearing the Pirates of the Caribbean 4K is not a good transfer. So I'm not even going to bother picking that up. So my plan for today is I'm going to FYE. It's been a really long time since I've been to FYE, a couple of months or so I'm hearing there is a steelbook sale happening. So I'm going to go there, see if the rumor is true, see what I can find, see if I can come out with any hidden gems or treasures. I always come out with stuff from FYE and then I will end up going to Target because what's a Tuesday without going to Target? So what are we waiting for? Let's go. I pulled up to the mall parking lot to go into FYE and look, Best Buy is officially gone i could not even believe it the grates are down at the doors there's that outline where the yellow sign used to be oh man is this the beginning of the end i don't know let's go on into fye here we go going into fye the very first thing i'm seeing upon entering fye are these holiday leftovers all of them christmas vacation themed this is absolutely incredible you have Clark Griswold habanero hot sauce for $2. Ken, do you want one of these? I know you love Christmas vacation, let me know. Then you have Aunt Bethany on a bar of chocolate, cat food not included, I think that's cool, $1.25. Then there's this one, Marty Moose, eggnog flavored milk chocolate. And then you have a full pound of a Clark bar <laughs> for $2.50. What's this one? berry nutty mix with the squirrel for a dollar 25. i might actually think about getting a couple of these items i gotta be honest so that's pretty cool to see upon entering fye so here are the steelbooks and i've been looking them over not too many are on a great gigantic sale but this is actually the one that i was interested in that i saw online tremors i don't have it i've never seen it and it's only 6.99 and there's one left so i will be picking this up so this is coming home with me today. They do have Ferris Bueller's Day Off for $9.99, so that's not too bad. Apollo 13 for $14.99. Same with The Fast and the Furious, $14.99. You really can't beat that one. Blues Brothers, same price. You have Psycho. These are all Blu-ray, they're not 4K. Psycho Steelbook for $17.99. Animal House is $19.99. Howard the Duck is $9.99. Nightmare on Elm Street, $14.99. Breakfast Club, $17.99, not bad. Let's see what else. Full Metal Jacket is $17.99. Tommy Boy is at $14.99. Maybe I'll grab that one as well. We have Goodfellas. Wizard of Oz is $14.99. Yeah, so we got some deals going on, but I'm definitely going to pick up the Tremors and see what else I could find. As you guys can see, they're clearing out their clearance section. Not exactly sure what they're doing, but... Should I get nervous? Is FYE gonna close down too? I really hope not, <laughs> but I'm just looking around. So I have picked up Tremors and Tommy Boy, if you can see as well. So I do have Tommy Boy, so I'm still searching. I haven't even begun to search into the Blu-ray section yet. Just really quick flipping through some of the used Blu-rays that they have here. I did find The Mechanic. They are having a sale, buy one, get one half price. So I'm kind of just searching through, flipping, see what I can find because I have the sequel, but I've never seen the first one. I don't have the first one, so I figured I'd grab that. And if it's buy one, get one half price, I might as well get a second one. So Avengers, I'm just flipping through, seeing what I can find. I'm gonna flip through all of these and see what I can find, anything good on Blu-ray. Ah, uh, home sweet home, the horror section. It's always good to go through and see if I can find any new titles. I did find this one, it's called The Awakening with Rebecca Hall, and it's only $4.99, so I'm actually kind of curious about that one, but I'm just going to flip through, flip, 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 and just see what I could find. After watching all the holiday movies and all the feel-good gushy movies, it's kind of nice to go back through and look at some horror films. So I came over to see what was going on in the 4K section, and I actually came across one of the probably most awesome lenticulars, look at that. That is just so cool. The Final Countdown. I've never heard of this movie. I have no idea what it's about. But 
that is a no-go. But I just thought I'd show off the lenticular because it's really cool. That deserves to be on camera. But I'm still searching. I do have somewhat of a little pile off to the side, but I'm still going through and seeing what I could find. Lots of treasures at FYE. Now I'm in the comedy section and I've been looking through and I just came across this. <sighs> Don't they know? No, that is such a big no-no. It is ruined. The cover is ruined. And for $100, I mean, there's absolutely no way. They're never gonna get rid of that now. Ugh, I hate spider wraps. They are the worst. They are the worst for physical media. But searching through Howard the Duck, I always try to search through and try to find those little hidden gems in the back because sometimes you can find really great stuff. That's not one of them, <laughs> unfortunately. But I'm searching, I am searching. We've got the intern, we have a four movie laugh pack, all Steve Martin movies it looks like. Jury Duty with Polly Shore, Tia Carrere, King of Staten Island, We've got the Naked Gun trilogy. Yeah, so I am searching, definitely searching in the comedy section. I wanna find some hidden steel books what I found right in the front. Bad Santa 2. Now, I watched the first Bad Santa and I really enjoyed it. It's $9.99. Is it worth the $9.99? It probably isn't. I think I'll hold off and I'll wait to see if I can find it online for a cheaper price, but I did want to get the sequel. And then we have the Addams Family Steelbook on sale for $9.99. So I'm thinking about picking up that one as well. So we got a few items going on, but I'm still searching for some hidden gems and treasures. I always find it weird how FYE puts musicals, westerns, and war movies kind of like all bunched up together. It's just really weird. It's like you have Mamma Mia next to the best little whorehouse in Texas, and then you have Cats, and then you have Platoon, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Clint Eastwood movies. I don't know. It's random and weird. But I did find the Criterion. I found the Criterion, the red shoes, $19.99, so half price of what it would usually be. And this just came out like maybe a few weeks ago, about a month ago. So this is a brand new title and someone already recycled it at FYE. So that's a pretty interesting find. I'm not gonna jump on that. I don't think it's my cup of tea, but interesting to see. That's my first Criterion I found at FYE. So I've been looking in the drama section and I actually found a hidden gem that I've been curious about for a while and that is Birdman. I've been really wondering about this one. It has Michael Keaton, Emma Stone, I believe this one Best Picture and $8.99. It is used but it looks like it's in great condition so I'm going to pick this one up. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. These are the hidden gems that you could find when you search through the stacks. FYE ended up being very productive. I found some great steel books. I found a few other Blu-rays and a hidden gem. So that is always fantastic. I did not leave empty handed, which is always a great thing, but we're not done yet. What would be a Blu-ray trip without going to the Target? So let's head on over to Target. All right, here we go. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. And the new releases at Target. Not a whole heck of a lot. Not a whole heck of a lot. And this isn't my usual location that I go to, but still, there's really hardly anything here. But we do have the French Dispatch that came out last week. So we have Blu ray, $19.99, and DVD for $14.99. We have some Venom Let There Be Carnage on Blu ray and DVD. We do have The Last Duel on Blu-ray and DVD as well, along with Ron's Gone Wrong, Fast and Furious, and Shang-Chi. Let's go over here, see what we got. We do, st do still have copies of The Mitchells vs. The Machines. I was actually thinking about picking this up, but not for $24.99. That's way too expensive, so I'm not going to get that. Rick and Morty Season 5, Dear Evan Hansen Blu-ray and DVD. Still got Bruce Willis and Fortress. We have one Wolf of Wall Street Steelbook, but like I mentioned in yesterday's video, Blu-ray.com, aka Amazon, it's $19.99 right now for the Steelbook, so that's almost $10 off, so I'd pick it up there. We got some Paw Patrol, of course, Cop Shop, The Suicide Squad on 4K, and Blu-ray as well, but those are also on sale online, so pick them up there. And we got some Free Guy and a couple of Wonders. 
And of course, getting ready for Valentine's Day coming up, we do have the end cap with all the romantic, what's Elf doing there? Elf shouldn't be there, but we have all the, all the romantic movies, all the rom-coms, all the classics you could ever want. So if you're looking to bulk up on some of those, then go to Target, because most likely you're gonna find it on some random end cap. This Target location actually has another wall, which is amazing. So I do want to point out some quick $10 deals. So they have Scoob on Blu-ray for $10. They have Wonder Woman 84 for $10. If you missed out on the $7 sale that was happening around Christmas time, if you want to pick it up, I don't think it's going to get cheaper than that anytime soon. And then we have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood on Blu-ray for $10. That's definitely worth it if you haven't picked it up. It's a great movie. And then we have Birds of Prey for $10 on Blu-ray, so you really can't beat that. They have got Scream on 4K here. I have never seen it at any Target that I've been to except for this one, but the price is $23.99. I'm sure it's cheaper over on Amazon. As far as steelbooks go, they do have a Sicario. They have Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, but again, on Amazon, it's $11.99 currently right now. And they do have Dirty Dancing. Really nothing big inside of Target today, and yes, I ended up putting my hair back. I apologize. It gets in the way, and I can't stand it. I got a little too hot, too. So inside of Target, they only had the French Dispatch. That came out last week. No pirates on 4K, but that's all right because I heard the 4K transfer is not that great anyway, so that is no loss. I already have it on Blu-ray. So I'm all set. So what did I end up getting today? Well, before I show you the physical media, I do have to admit I did indulge in the chocolate bars that I showed you at the very beginning. So we have two kinds of Christmas vacation chocolate bars that I got on a great discount for $1.25 a piece. So if you have an FYE near you, go get them right now because they're on sale. So we have Aunt Bethany on the cover graham cracker white chocolate with a hint of key lime and i'm usually not that big on key lime but i'm giving, gonna give it a go for a dollar 25. i figure that's a decent price and then this one is eggnog flavored milk chocolate i really think i'm gonna enjoy this one i enjoy eggnog so there we go my two two chocolate bars that i can indulge in while i'm watching these movies so as far as the steel books go like I mentioned, steelbook sale happening right now at FYE. And one of the ones that I saw for $6.99 was Tremors. And there was one copy left, so I snatched it up. And of course, you know, the plastic is like off of it, but it's in great condition. It's fine. There's no dents anywhere. So we're all good. I've never seen Tremors and I don't have it in my collection. So that is why I wanted to pick it up today. And I indeed did pick up Tommy Boy, finally pulled the trigger on this one. I've always picked it up and then put it back for some reason because I go on and I find other things and I'm like, nah, I don't need Tommy Boy. So I finally picked it up, not for $19.99, for $14.99. And that was the average price of the steelbooks that were on sale. There were a few $9.99 and other $6.99, but they were usually $14.99. So I did indeed pick up Tommy Boy. Now, really quick, the Blu-rays that I picked up took advantage of the buy one, get one half price. So I did pick up the Mechanic, and this is the reason because I have Mechanic Resurrection on 4K from one of my subscribers. I haven't watched the first one. I don't have it, so that's why I wanted to pick up this one. And then for the half price, I got Charlie's Angels. There we go. I love this movie. It's quirky. It's weird. It's Charlie's Angels. I love it. And so for like $2.50 or something, whatever I got this for, you really can't beat that. Then found Spaceballs for $6.99 and I didn't have this one in my collection. So I decided to pull the trigger on this one. I know the 4Ks out there. I just, I don't know, for $6.99 for Blu-ray, you really can't beat that. And then my gem of a find, Birdman on Blu-ray. It is a Best Picture winner. Michael Keaton, Emma Stone, I've never seen it. I should have it because it did win awards. And there we go. So that is everything that I bought on my outing today to FYE. But the big question is, what did you find when you went out today? Did you find pirates on 4K? Did you take the chance or maybe antlers? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.